One month before my lease ended and I was scheduled to move out of my New York City apartment, my landlord told me that the three walls I had painted would cost $1,250 to paint back white and that that would come out of my security deposit. I decided that I would not be finessed, and so I took matters into my own hands. This is that story. Hello and welcome to Fendi TV. In this episode of Fendi TV, I'm gonna be painting my apartment. So, step one, let's go into the hardware store to pick up some paint and paint supplies. How's it going? Um, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so I got back with the paint um, and now I am gonna clear out the living room because that's the first room that we're gonna paint. So step one, clear out, or step two, clear out the living room. Yeah. I feel like Kanye West. And I, and I. I feel like Kanye West. Kanye West. I feel like Kanye. Yeah. I said I'm from Chicago and I'm the best. I feel like Kanye West. I said I'm from Chicago and I'm the best. I ain't no college dropout though. I went to college on a scholarship. Okay, so I was about to start painting, but then I realized that. I didn't have any newspaper or anything to put on the ground to basically protect the ground from getting paint all over it. And you don't want that. Okay, so I got the newspaper at 10 o'clock at night. Um, so now I'm walking back to my apartment and we will start painting. Okay, I've been painting for about half an hour so far. Um, that wall used to be blue like this one, but now it's white. Um, that's just the primer, so I gotta put a layer of primer on the wall first and then uh, paint white. I fell onto the wall, so I'm a little bit, I got a little paint all over me. I'm a quarter white after this. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I'm just kind of continue painting. Given that I can't find a job, I might as well have dropped out of it. I ain't gonna talk about the red cap Cause I don't wanna get into politics But I got a bad girl like Kim K And I'm never gonna let her meet Ray J I feel like Kanye West And I Hey, so this is day two um, I applied the primer And I let it dry for Not 24 hours But, you know, like I painted it last night And now this is the next evening So like 20 hours or so and it looks pretty good. I mean, the wall almost looks like it's white already. Um, but so now I'm going to apply the white paint on top of the primer and hopefully it's done. Um, yeah, they said that I would need to apply two coats of primer, but I mean, naturally, I just don't want to do that. <laughs> and if one coat of primer will do the job, then that's what we're going to do. OK, so I'll check in with you all after painting it um, white. Okay, you all, I did it. So I painted, I, I did the coat of primer and then I painted, painted the walls white afterwards. Um, and it looks really good. Like I'm no professional painter, but I think I did a pretty good job. This was, I just saved myself $500. Landlord was trying to tax me because I painted the walls blue, but Guess what? They're not blue anymore. They're white. So now I gotta paint. So I did this room. Michael's doing... Michael's painting this room, which used to be green. We'll see how far he gets. And then 
I also need to paint my room, which is yellow right now. I need to paint it white as well. So we're not done. We're not done yet, but this is a really good start. Hey, and that was the biggest room. So hey, we're in a good place right now. I was not in a good place. I ended up not making time to paint my yellow bedroom back white. So I was charged $500 for that. They deemed Michael's paint job inadequate. And so they charged me $500 for that. Michael also got paint on the floor, and so they charged me $200 for that. They also charged me $500 for an unexplained cleaning fee. Despite my best efforts to not get finessed, I was ultimately finessed.